Yeah, you know what it is. Hot 97, Funk Flex. Big fiasco's here. So, um, I I didn't get a chance to um, talk to you when the whole um, situation was going on with you, with your song, with Pete Rock. I, I can remember, the way I remember it unfolding is I remember it going online that day, and I remember just a lot of people liking the song. I mean, mm-hmm. the record was, you know, up my alley. Mm-hmm. And, um,. I then I guess it triggered something with Pete where I could tell like when he was tweeting cuz he what well, what was shocking is he doesn't tweet a lot mm-hmm. and he doesn't uh and you know he's not much about like he the music yeah but not much about you know him CL and and right, of course and right, so right. were you <clears throat> shocked by or were you surprised by his tweets it was just like oh my god what is he doing? <laughs> um, we need to figure this out, you know. So we got all of the parties that be that was a part of making sure of reaching out initially. The, the lawyers, the this person, that the label, this dude, make sure everybody was on the phone to kind of get an idea. Like, yo, what's the issue? What's wrong? Mm-hmm. Um, you know. And he, it was just kind of like I was hot. My man was hot, and it was the the conversation wasn't like a. Yo, let's reconciliate and be cool and I love you or not. Nah. It was like, now nah, this is dude. when this is when you and him spoke? Yeah. On the phone. This is when me and him spoke on the phone. That was that either that next day or um I think it was that next day. And it was just kinda like, you know, like, yo man, you got me out here looking crazy. Was that the first time you and him and ever spoke just in general? No, no, no. I so met you, with Pete at, at the label before. Uh, you so know. You, you know him from yeah, prior yeah, conversations? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So but this was the first time that me and him talked specifically about that record. Got right. you. Me and him, right? But so he, he didn't know you recorded that song that nah, it he existed. Knew. Oh, he yeah, did. Yeah, but he, he didn't hear the know. lyrics. He heard the song. No, he didn't. He didn't hear it. He didn't hear the he song. He just knew you were doing it. He knew I was doing it. He was. He his initial thing was that he had an emotional attachment to the record. This was it. This was like November. Got gotcha. you. He had an emotional attachment to the record, but you know, Lupe is my man. If Lupe want to rock with it, then cool. You know, and here's the sample information because you're gonna need to clear with one of the chapel, and you're gonna need to do this. So it was like, all right, cool. He, Lupe has my blessing. You know? Gotcha. And then it, you know, it just kind of went. What okay, change did you think? That the record had the record had just came out, like it was just out, and it was he hadn't heard it. Got right? you. Not that he hadn't been informed, be credited it. for it. The publishing was taken care of, on whatever he was supposed to do, mm-hmm. everything. Cause it, again, it's like a, you you just throwing a record out there, you know. Um, so you think he wanted some creative input on how the song came out? I don't know. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because initially he didn't want to do none with it. Gotcha. He didn't want to be a part of it because it was just kind of like it's too much for me to revisit X Y Z. But Lupe got my blessing to do what he wanted to do. Oh, right? Okay. You know? Now you know I want to say like in to Pete Rock's defense because mm-hmm. um I might have just been getting in the music business when that had happened. And um, it was one. It was a uh, one of the first tragedies, like in the, in in the nineties. And you know, as I remember it too, it was them having fun on tour, and him um, Troy getting hurt, and of course passing away. See, and on that point, honestly, I didn't intentionally. I didn't want to remake Troy. I didn't. I didn't want to mention. I didn't want to do that because because of that. Because I I know what the Troy song is about. You know, I know who Troy is through CL Smooth rapping about it on the song, and the way Pete expressed it initially, with you know, it's it's dear to him. You know, the track and what it means. So I didn't want to remake Troy because you know, Troy. I'm Troy's not my man. You know, that's your homie, and I respect him. So I'm not gonna try and say I'm a reminisce over you because it, it literally saying they reminisce over you mm-hmm. is this man's name, right? So I'll leave him to you, and that's how you grieve with it. And I'm not gonna try and reapproach it or reinterpret it or, or, or try and leech off that pain. But how, how come the internet for one minute was saying it was cleared up and then it said it's not cleared up? That was because on the way he was, the way it was being pushed and the way it was being perceived, that that's not how it went down. Pete, know we reached out to him. He gotcha. just said, man, I just wish Lupe would have called me direct, right? It's like, okay, I give you that. This is the first time we talked about it, but what is the rest of this? Mm-hmm. Where's all the rest of this coming from? Because you act like you hadn't talked to six people. Or we hadn't reached out to, to your people 
to get you in the video. And it's like, and if you, you would have felt there was an issue, you probably wouldn't have pushed forward like you did push forward. Right. Maybe I, if you felt if you felt you knew more information. About right. I what wouldn't. Was have, I w it wasn't do or die or die to run it to run with it. You know, mm -hmm. it was just kind of the the innocent idea came from my partner Chili. He's like, yo, man, we need to put out a let's let's take us let's put a spin on a classic hip hop record and bring it to the new generation. You did you man? did you feel like some of the internet and some of the bloggers were were giving you a hard time because of your past relationship sometime with them? Well, just bloggers in general. I think it's I think it's that shoot from the hip culture cuz I I I I I crept upon like a blog and it was more like a conversation. It was a bunch of people in the studio somewhere, and they like they do debates, and they debated Luke Ma Lupe Fiasco versus Pete Rock, and mm -hmm. everybody had their point of view. And it was just kind of like everybody was shooting from the hip. And it's like, but you don't know all the information. Mm -hmm. You don't know that I talk. Everybody talked to Pete Rock. You don't know what we, why I went on Sway and actually said what I said. It wasn't because of, you know, a way about the record. It was like Pete, you got me looking crazy. You see these blog blogs are going crazy, and then you just going to duck out. When you knew, and he said it on the phone, like that was whack. It was a crazy thing for me to do. I know I kind of OD'd. It's like, look, just come out and just say, hey, you know, we talked, you know, X, Y, Z prior to that, and it was just me feeling a little ways. And he could have said that I'm feeling emotion about heavy, and when it dropped, and they, they hadn't called gotcha. me and let me listen, and it did, but he didn't do that. And did he, did he, he ever? He didn't do that. Did he, he, and he said on the phone, mine, but you know, if I do that, if I recant, I'm gonna look crazy. Quote. Gotcha. That's like. Well, what, well, so what? We just supposed to leave it like this? Nah, I'm not doing that, Pete. I rock with you, but I can't, I can't respect this because that's not what happened.